other. You, you form study groups that help you get through the material. We, we email out study guides to each other. I got a little circle of friends we always study together. Um, we divide up reading. If we have a large volume of reading that no one could possibly do on their own, I'll read a chapter and outline it. Someone else will read a chapter and outline it. We'll email it to each other, and then we got it all done. Now, if you know, we know each other well enough to know that, that you know this person is going to do a good job, I'm going to do a good job, and that way we can trust each other. I mean, you can't just trust anybody to do it. Do it. I mean, you've got to have a relationship with that person. But you know, that's the academic support that you're talking about. And the other thing with you guys being pre-med students, usually you're caught up in the competition here, you know, making all A's, being top of everything, getting in. But comment on the, the competition, the, the interaction there. At, once you get to med school, what is, what is that sort of thing like? Um, there's the competition at USC, I can't speak to other medical schools, is almost non-existent. I mean, there, there is going to be competition, but you hear about a lot of other medical schools where things are really cut, they got to be the top of the class or whatever. That's not how it is at USC. Um, for, I'll give you an example again, my study group. Um, I don't know my partner's grades. Um, they don't know mine. And personally, they don't care. They've never asked for my grades. I've never asked for theirs. The, the question after the test is, did you do all right? Yeah. Did you do all right? Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's not about whether I made better than you, did you do better than me. We want everyone to do well because ultimately, if I succeed and they succeed, we all do better. Because if my class does poorly but I do well, then all of us look bad, honestly, because the school suffers. You know, if I go out and I ace my boards, but 30 people in my class fail boards, school looks bad. And so do I, because that's that's the school I'm associated with. So it doesn't really do much good to compete anyway, because you're you're part of a group that is going into a field where you work as a team anyway. So why compete with the people that you're going to be working with ultimately? Thank you, thank you. I, I think we're getting to the point yeah, where most people here. need I, I to go. I got to ask you some personal questions. I think. Perfectly fine. So we'll stay here and you can access us individually if you'd like, and then we'll call it a night. One of the questions was about the finding your future, and she was a rising junior, not senior. And I said, Well, Dr. Dr. Smith, if he doesn't have six people who want to do it, then, you know, are not qualified to do it, then, you know, we'll, I said it's reserved more for him than he can't do it. So I just pass that along to you. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope this was helpful. Once again, we've got numbers on the website that you can access us for further information. We'll stand around here for a second too if you've got a personal question for us and we wish you luck and 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 once again um, bon appetit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.